Hi guys, my name is Sarah Letcher and I am going to talk to you about the benefits of yoga um, when combined with running. So um, yoga can increase your strength in your legs and in your core. Um, it can improve your breathing technique because we focus a lot on breathing and knowing that the slower your breath the more relaxing it is so slowing down your breath during a longer endurance run is a good idea and um, the faster your breathing is generally during sprints and things like that then at least you learn how to have control of it it improves your flexibility and the more improved your flexibility is by stretching out the muscles and the tendons and the ligaments and the joints um, in your body, um, the less pain you should have and the less chance of being injured. Um, the other thing that it can improve is your balance. So just in life in general. So if you're running all the time, it can be hard on your body and doing something a little gentler like a yoga practice and working on your breathing um, just helps to, to balance things out. And um, it's like a body-mind connection. Um, and then the other thing is posture. So we talk about um, a really tall spine in yoga a lot basically standing up tall pulling your shoulders back not slouching rounding over phones and computers and um, having a, a good posture good strong posture can really help with making your running um, your running more effective and more efficient and easier on your body so let's start with a few stretches that i would suggest to do um, to warm up your warm up everything from your feet all the way up so I'm gonna start with the feet and this is it's actually called toes stretch so what you're gonna do is you're gonna tuck all ten of your toes under so you're pulling all of your toes forward you're gonna bring your big toes to touch and then sit your hips back your seat back onto your heels so now what we're doing here is stretching out through the soles of your feet and it can be pretty uncomfortable if you run all the time or maybe if your feet, your, your shoes don't fit well or something. And this is a good one to do and I would say stay here for about 10 breaths. The next one I'm gonna suggest is a cat and cow. So you'll come into what we call tabletop position. Hands are directly below your shoulders and your knees are directly below your hips. And we'll take a few cat and cow. So cow pose, you drop your belly, you lift your bum up and you look up. In cat pose, you tuck your tail and tuck your chin to your chest, push the earth away. This is really good for your spine. You're gonna inhale and come back into a cow pose. And then exhale into a cat pose. It's good for your spine to help to warm up. After that, you can do that three to five times, even 10 times if it feels good for you. And I'm going to say come back into a, a child's pose. Take your knees wide apart. Bring your big toes together behind you. And you're going to sit your hips back. Reach your arms forward and drop your forehead down. This again can just stretch out through your low back. A lot of runners get low back uh, discomfort, a lot of pain sometimes. And it's generally from tightness, um, maybe improper footwear. So this pose is called child's pose. It's relaxing. You can also make fists underneath your forehead to rest your forehead down or even use a pillow underneath your forehead. So that one I would hold for about 10 breaths and make them nice and slow, long breaths. The next one is a calf stretch. So come back up into your tabletop position. You're gonna curl your toes under and move forward. Curl your toes under and push your heel back. So my hands are directly below my shoulders I'm just pushing my heel back I would hold that for 10 breaths and then switch to the other side extend the leg back curl your toes under push your heel back the next one is downward facing dogs this is another good one for your back but also gets your hamstrings so also gets the back of your legs you can curl your toes under and then lift your hips up toward the ceiling so you're basically like an upside down V it's okay if your heels don't come all the way down to the floor or down to your yoga mat. 
It's okay if they're up into the air. You wanna bring it so that your arms, your upper arms are in line with your ears and you're looking between your feet. Maybe you bend your knees. Another way to do your calf stretches from here, you can bend one knee and then the other, reach your heel down. You can make your downward facing dog nice and long. And I would hold that for about 10 breaths as well. That one can be a little bit tiring on the shoulders, but I have faith you can do it. So from downward facing dog, we'll come into a low lunge pose. I'm gonna get you to bring your right foot forward and you'll lower your back knee down. So you're gonna stack your knee right over top of your ankle and then rise all the way up. So instead of reaching our arms up, which you can do, which feels good, let's reach our arms back behind us. And so you can spread your fingers wide, reaching your fingertips towards your back foot, or you can interlace your hands behind your back, lifting through your heart and allowing your hips to sink up a little bit deeper. So here we're opening up through the chest, which is gonna make it better for breathing, easier for breathing. And as we sink down into this low lunge, we're stretching out through the front of the hip on this leg, this knee side that is down on the floor or down on the ground. That's your hip flexor. These get tight a lot in runners. So the next one, after you do this one or this one and hold for about 10 breaths, we're gonna go into the hamstrings. So we're gonna send the hips back and reach your chest forward toward this straight leg. So you don't have to come all the way back. Your, your seat doesn't have to come all the way down. I actually prefer if you're up a little bit higher. So reach your chest toward this foot. Maybe the knee is bent. If you're really tight, that's okay. Just breathe here for 10 breaths. And then you'll go to the other side and do the same thing on the other side. So that's your hamstrings. Now, let's say we were doing lunge on the other side, just so that I can continue to face Oh, just so I can continue to face um, the camera. So we did lunge, let's say we did lunge on this side as well for 10 breath. We're gonna go into what we call spidey stretch. So you're gonna take both hands down to the inside of this front foot and then come onto your back heel. So you're on the toes of this front foot and the heel of the back foot. If you picture how Spider-Man can land when, when he's jumped from a building or from a car, or top of a car, whatever he does. This is a good little thing called spidey stretch, and this will help to stretch your inner thigh, okay? So some of your quadricep muscle, the front of your thighs, which of course we're using for running. We just did hamstrings. We're getting some inner thigh. We already got some hip flexors, got the low back. And then you're just gonna switch it up. You'll go to the other side. So you'll come to the heel of this leg now and the toes of this leg. Think about trying to have a tall spine. You can leave your fingertips down. You can also put your hands on a chair or a table or a desk, whatever's around you. And then we'll come back onto our knees. And last one we're gonna do is for your hips, your outer hips and your seat. You'll come all the way down onto your back. And you're gonna cross, let's cross your right leg over the top of your left thigh. Then you're gonna lift this left leg up and hug your um, hug your legs in towards your chest so I've grabbed in between this little space here one hand is weaving through the other one is wrapping around and then I'm hugging this in toward my chest so on your back this is called figure four because you kind of look like the number four ten breath here and then you'll switch sides and come to the other side for 10 breath here. Hopefully this helps you um, in getting some stretching after your runs and um, I hope you enjoyed this little video that I made for you. Have a great day.